I put my homeland behind and left for the mountain. From the carefree mountain, the peak of delight, I recited some prayers. And then visions of contentment such as these came forth. The pleasant chirping voices of cuckoo, grouse, nightingale, sparrow, blackbird and partridge set my mind helplessly at ease. Black bees with six legs gathering on flowers of beautiful colors, singing songs with their buzzing sound, set my mind helplessly at ease. Groves of trees swaying, each bowing its head in turn, whispering, remaining with half-opened eyes, set my mind helplessly at ease. Animals upon the golden meadows, wandering carefree along their paths, racing each other, going ever higher, set my mind helplessly at ease. Waters, not too high, not too low, babbling over the pebbles, not soft, not loud, flowing just at the right distance, set my mind helplessly at ease. Rocks shaped like castles on the mountain, so solid when it rains or snows, so cooling when the summer sun burns, set my mind helplessly at ease. Bark of aromatic juniper, fashioned into seeds, pillows and such, protects from danger of cold and damp, and sets my mind helplessly at ease. Nothing frenetic is going on hither and thither. The mountain is high, the valley deep. This leisure with no hustle and bustle sets my mind helplessly at ease. I need no money. All I want is a buffalo, a cow, and her bright white milk. As long as I have salt and butter for tea, contemplation sets my mind helplessly at ease. Not needing to depend on others, doing what I want, whenever I want, eating and drinking as I like, sets my mind helplessly at ease.